In this video, we look at writing numbers in numerals and in words. We're going to start with numbers that are in the hundreds. And for all the numbers, I've put the hundreds in red, the tens in blue, and the ones in green, just so you can see clearly how we write the numbers according to where the digits are. In the first number, we have one in the hundreds column, so we can write 100. In the tens column, we have two tens, which is 20. So that's 120. And in the ones column, there's five. So it's 125. For the next one, all four digits are the same. We have a four in the hundreds, so that's 400. Four in the tens, so that represents 40. And four in the ones, which is just four. 444. Just notice the spelling of 40 there, it doesn't have a U in it. 780. So we have 700, 8 tenths, which is 80, and nothing in the ones, so that stays as 780. They can be a little more challenging. So the first one, 411, we can see that we have 400. That 11 is just remembering 110 and one in the ones is 11. I've put that in two colours because you've got a 10 and a one in there. The next one, sometimes having a zero in one of the place values can throw a little bit of confusion on this. So what you have here is 700, but there are no tens and just a seven in the ones. So that would just be 707. The last one goes into the thousands and you can see we have 1,000. There are no hundreds and no tens, but just one in the ones. So that's 1,001. Here are some for you to have a go at. These three numbers, write them in words, pause the video, see how you get on. First one, that's 200. 8 in the tens, so that's 280, and 6 in the ones, 286. The next one, you have 500, nothing in the tens, but a 5 in the ones, so that's just 505. The last one goes into the thousands, so we have 1,000, nothing in the hundreds, and then we have a 1 in the tens, and a 1 in the 1s. And remember, that's 11. So you have 1011. We do this the other way round as well. We have the numbers in words, and we have to identify which digits go in which place value. So I've put the hundreds, tens and ones notation at the top there. The very first thing we have in the first one is 100. So we can put a 1 in the hundreds column. And then we have 70. So that's seven tens and two, 172. The next one, 333. 330 is three tens, and then we have three ones. And the last one, 590. There's 500, 90 is nine tens, but there's nothing in the ones column, so we just put a zero in there. Again, these can get a little bit more confusing when you start having zeros in the middle of the number. 706, you can see that there's 700, but there's no tens there, so we put a zero in the tens and a six in the ones. 914, there's 914, bit like 11, it's understanding that in that number you have a 10 and a 4. So we have 110 and 4 ones. And then 1000, we have 1 in the thousands, but there's nothing else there. There are no hundreds, no tens and no ones. That's why there are three zeros at the end of the number 1000. Here are some for you to try. The numbers have been written in words, 
you need to write them using the correct numerals in the correct place. Pause the video, have a go. The first one, 419, you see that there's 400 and remember that 19 is 110 and 9 ones. The next one, 888. How many hundreds? That's eight. And then we have 80, so that's eight tens, and then eight ones. The next one, 601. There are six hundreds, there's nothing in the tens, and then just one in the ones column. And the final one, 1009. So we have one in the thousands column, but there are no hundreds and no tens, but we do have nine in the ones 